Hi everyone and welcome to Hedgehog Hollow's video today. I'm going to be using a couple of the retiring stamp sets as well as one of the new uh, backgrounds called Playful Backgrounds which will be coming out on the 1st of June. We were given this last week at uh, On Stage which is an event exclusively for demonstrators um, and I've used it to make this lovely bubble background behind my fish. So let's get going. So I'm just going to pop this one to the side for now. We'll bring it out a again. So first of all, you need to make your bubble background. So I have a piece of Whisper White, which is five by three and a half inches. Again, I'm using A4 sizes um, for my layers. So if you're using eight and a half by 11, you do need to adjust it slightly. And I'm going to stamp my bubble background with Pool Party. And you could use one of the existing stamp sets. There are that's got some circles in, I think, uh, timeless textures gorgeous grunge um, but instantly I saw this and thought of bubbles so it doesn't matter how you stamp it out you just want a random background There's our bubbly background, so it looks like our fish are blowing lots of lovely bubbles. And we'll pop our ink pad back away again. And then I'm going to use Dazzling Details and Crystal Effects. And the Crystal Effects is retiring, so stock up. But you can use the new fine tip glue. It dries clear, just like um, the Crystal Effects. I was using this just now, so it shouldn't harm Let me just grab a pin. I always have a couple of pins to hand. Okay. So just take some random bubbles and fill them in like so. And this will just give them a glossy 3D appearance, so like they've just been blown. Like that. And then I take the Dazzling Details, which is a glitter glue. And I fill in a few more just to give it a bit of uh, bling. I've got Tilly joining us, you can probably hear in the background. But it's nap time, so I'm hoping she'll doze off as I'm talking to you. <laughs> Excuse my uh, sniffing, I still, still have this little cold. Anyway, so I've done all of my bubbles. Now that will probably take 15, 20 minutes to dry. You can speed it up by using your heat tool over it very gently. Be careful because the um, crystal effects will bubble otherwise. Or you can just place it, I often place it on top of a radiator. And I did one um, just a little bit earlier that has dried like so. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you've got these lovely uh, raised... Uh, bubbles and some little glittery ones that have dried clear as well. So I'm just going to, oh that was my base of my card, we'll ignore that for now. So what you would normally take is a piece of half A4 crumb cake and fold it in half like so and I had a layer of Tangelo Twist which is a lovely bright orange colour and that is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. Now normally I would stick that onto my car, but I'm going to leave that till after and I'll get a fresh piece. And I need a piece of my, I need my snail, which is here. And I'm going to stick on my dry, here's one I made earlier, for those of you who remember, Blue Peter, particularly with Tracy Island. layer that one up so that's our base card done so now what we need to do is our fish and our sentiments so first of all i'm going to take a scrap of whisper white which i have here and i need to stamp out two fish 
which come in the friends and flowers set which is actually retiring so we need our fish and we need our tails and we need a block to put them on grab that and I'm going to use a C block I'm going to stamp out my fish that's one The other end, that's two. Switch it out, and we need two tails as well. Someone's getting a bit grumpy at nap time. That's one, that's two. So let's just punch those out first of all. And for this, this coordinates perfectly this set with our build a flower punch. So I can switch it over and I'm going to use the big side, big petal for my fish. It will fit in the small petal as well if you don't want a white board around it. I'll do one of each so you can see. So that's the big one. And I can go on this side and make it snug. Like so. And there's your little one. And we need our two tails. Just one, and that one's there. And we just trim this one down. two tails. Let's get rid of all our scraps into the bin. And I know a lot of people keep every little bit of cardstock, but I'm afraid I don't. I'm sure I'll end up with some stampers raiding my bins for my scraps one of these days. Right, so that's our fish cut out. Uh, they're really easy to assemble. I'm going to use some glue dots to just pop the tails on. Pull that back. And what you need to do, get my nice leopard print scissors, is snip your tails in half, like so. You then want to place a glue dot on one piece of the tail. A glue dot on the bottom tail of your fish. And you can fan out your tail however you want him to look. So that's one fish. And we'll stick our other tail together. We'll have two different size fish on this one. Like so. So there's our fishes. And the only other bit left to stamp out is our sentiment, which I have used uh, another thank you, which I'm really pleased is carrying over to the catalogue. And I've used this many thanks in the corner. And you'll notice, as ever, I've stuck them to my cases while I'm not using them so that I don't lose them. And we need another scrap of Whisper White. We'll grab one from here. Nice clean one. Stamp out our many thanks. And then I'm going to use the one and a half inch circle punch to punch out my many thanks. Centre that up nicely. Then I'm going to take my one and three quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to punch a piece out of my Tangelo twist. You, um, you can also use a Tangerine Tango. Um, I actually used Tangerine Tango to stamp out my fishes because I didn't have the Tangelo twist ink pad and it's retiring and it's sold out, I think, within the first 24 hours. So you can switch up any oranges. You could also use pumpkin pie. Uh, let me grab a piece of each. So that's your 
Tangelo twist. This is your pumpkin pie. And this one is your tangerine tango. So you could use any one of those oranges. They still look like goldfish. Uh, I just had some that I wanted to use up. So we now need to assemble. What I'll do is I'll put a tiny bit of snail on just so that this sticks to the crumb cake and I'll switch it out for a different piece after the video. Always goes wrong when you're filming it. Now the other thing I wanted to do on my many thanks is just with, this is the scrap piece card I should have been stamping on, is take a sponge dauber, take my tangerine tango ink pad and I just, if I grab my original you can see I daubed just around the edge to make it blend and didn't look so stark. So again, touch my ink pad, touch off once, and then I'm just going to start. What a nice... I'm try not to smudge the black. Normally I would use my heat tool to make it dry a bit quicker. I'm trying not to touch the black too much. There we are. There we go. So now we are all ready to assemble. So first of all, we just need a tiny bit of snail. And we should just do a cross on our circle. Pop that onto our larger one, like so. And as ever, we need our dimensionals. We'll have two for our sentiment, one on the body of our fish, and one you can fit just where the tail meets. One on the body. And one where our tail meets. So. I'm sure this will all go wrong for me one day. But I always peel everything off. If I remember to. Because it makes it a lot easier when you're assembling. There we go. So we want our many thanks in the corner. Like so. We'll grab our two fish and you can turn them the same way up. You could have two heading downwards like that. Cross your card. And there we have it. So that's two going the same way or they could fly against each other. Now you may also notice on these ones they're just slightly glimmery. And what I used was my wink of Stella pens. Just take that and I just left it to the end because I wanted my orange ink to dry. And I haven't heat dried it like I normally would if I was going to apply something over the top. But you can see it all makes the orange a little bit more vibrant. You don't need much at all. I'm not squeezing. I'm just using what's on the brush. It flows quite nicely out. And push that over there. And you just get a nice shimmer like a goldfish would have with his scales. So that's today's card for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.